First of all, congratulations. Thank Just you. hours ago, you win uh, a Golden Globe. How do you feel? <laughs> I went out last night. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, you went out. Who did you go out with? Quentin. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> I can only imagine what it's like to go out to celebrate with Quentin Tarantino. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I can't. Where did you go? You can't even, you don't even have to tell me where you went, but I guess you were out very late. I, I'm not sure I could. Yeah, you don't know where you were last night. I, I followed. I, I kind of followed the lead. Yeah. I went, it, it was fun. Yeah. No, it, it, was, it was good. It wasn't fun this morning, but you know. Right. <laughs> You have no idea where you are right now, do you? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Television, yeah. I have to say, uh, congratulations. You got the Golden Globe last night, and then uh, you are, of course, nominated at the Oscars uh, again. This has just got to be an amazing feeling for you. It, it is completely overwhelming. Um, I, I usually, when I'm asked this question, I say, can you see? Right. You start moving your mouth, but nothing comes exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> Terrible for a talk show. Uh, <laughs> can I compliment you? I loved your performance. Andy and I were talking about uh, Django and Shane today, and we lo loved your performance. And I also, I have to say, uh, I was uh, a huge fan of your beard in that film. You had the most amazing beard in Django Unchained. I thought Thank you looked you. great. Thank you. Uh, there it is right there. That's, I can't get a beard like that. <laughs> Lots of mustache twirling, too. Yeah, good yeah, twirling. Yeah, no, no, it, it, I treated it like my pet. <laughs> and, and, and I was sorry to see it go. Um, it felt like a shorn sheep, in a way, underneath. Uh, you got used to it, and you, it did feel like it was a, a part of you. You said it really, it felt like a pet to you? A little bit, you know. Um, you gave it its shots, you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, took it to the vet. <laughs> you took yeah. it to the vet, you, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would, but it, I went through a period where I had a beard, and then I took it off, and I felt, I did feel naked for a while absolutely, without it. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, and then I went on to another movie, and I shaved my head and my eyebrows, and that was naked. You, why the eyebrows? I can understand shaving your head, but shaving your eyebrows just seems like this is a fraternity prank of no. some kind. <laughs> this isn't a movie at all. No, no, no it's, I, I hope it's going to be a great movie, and, yeah. and, uh, but that feels strange. I can imagine. I'm not doing that. I'm no, not following you on that one. Is it true? I heard uh, a, a rumor that uh, on the set of Django, uh, Quentin Tarantino would have, that you, that you guys would do shots in between takes at certain <laughs> points. Is that true? <laughs> Mm, yes and no. It, look. That means yes. What's, what's a, <laughs> when someone says yes and no to a question well, like that, it, it means it yes. Mean, it means more yes than no, but um, uh, when, when Quentin shoots a thousand yards of film, mm -hmm. then, you know, there's a little celebration, and uh, just to mark it, you know, I think it's a thousand yards. Um, no, it must be more. Anyway, whatever, a certain amount, a round number it was. Right, I, right. That I remember. A thousand yards would come up pretty often. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I think it is a thousand yards. <laughs> I think you're doing a shot every six minutes <laughs> that you're working. No, it was work. I mean, you know, come on, in yeah. all seriousness. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Uh, also, very serious, Quentin, notoriously uh, very serious and strict about cell phones on the set. Yeah. Which I think would be very important, but... Absolutely. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. Yeah, but exactly. What would but... he do? What would he do if it's an important take and someone's cell phone went off? Um, it only happened once in the two movies that I've worked with him, and uh, it wasn't even a cell phone. It was somebody booting his computer, but that nasty ding... Um, sort of reminded him of his cell phone, and he said, I told you, no phones, got up, left, and that was it for the day. He's very strict about cell phones, and I appreciate it enormously, because um, despite the stories about shots and all that, I have very strict work, work ethics. Yes. And... Um, <laughs> That the constant yeah. usage of, of you know the, um, texting and talking and, and it, it's it's really distracting in all seriousness. No, I, I agree with you. When we rehearse this show, and yes, we do rehearse. Uh, <laughs> when we rehearse this show, I'm sorry, Andy, but you're on your device constantly, and I find it a distraction. Spend an afternoon with you, <laughs> <laughs> and stay off a device. I'm sorry you had to hear this. 